All right, coach, off to a 17 and one start, the lone loss, a 5-4 loss, close loss to Amherst. Um, where did you expect to be at this point in the season? I hope to be where we are today, 17-1, uh, but um, really didn't have a clear expectation of what where we might be. Uh, knew we had a very difficult uh, road trip to take to New England and thought we had a great opportunity to do well there. Um, was pleased with the type of matches that we played um, and then really pleased with the response to come back and beat the uh, one and two in the country this past weekend was really satisfying for us. Yeah, just so how does how does the schedule? I mean, you had the opportunity to travel back east. You host a lot of great teams here at Byzantium Family yeah. Center. How does that prepare you for Skag tournament and uh, and nationals? Yeah, it's it's beginning with the end in mind. It's the idea that uh, hey, we're gonna we're gonna create a schedule in such a way that we can see everything that we would hope to see at the end of the season. So the best of the top national competition. Uh, potentially playing in adverse situations like we did back in the Northeast indoors uh, on a four-court facility um, and all that preparation so that uh, when we get to May and we have to play hopefully in the conference tournament and then again in the postseason in the NCAA tournament we're ready for anything that we might see. What's What's been the biggest surprise for you so far this season? I think the ways that we have won this year have been surprising. I, in my mind, um, you know, I, I really was confident going into the season that we'd have a great doubles team. We came off um, a great doubles season last year um, that really kind of buoyed our, our singles as well. And this year, depending on the match, we've had help from different parts of the lineup. So sometimes we've been really strong in the middle, sometimes really strong at the top. Other times our doubles has sort of carried us with some momentum. Other times our doubles hasn't been there and the singles have stepped up. So we've won a lot of different types of ways this year and that's, I think, been a pleasant surprise for me. Would you say that's been the biggest factor with regards to the team's success so far is the, what you just mentioned? As well? Yeah, I think so. And I think it, always, it, it also bodes really well for the future. You know, I, I think if we close some gaps in a few of those areas where there's still some real growth to happen, um, come, you know, the first couple of weeks in May, I think we'll be playing our best tennis. And I'm super excited about that. You, you mentioned areas for growth. Can you just talk about those a little bit more? You know, where would you like to see the team progress over the next month and a half? Yeah, I think we've been great at every position of doubles so far, but not on the same day except for perhaps uh, this past Saturday when we beat the defending NCAA champs in Middlebury. And I thought that was really our best doubles day of the year. I'm looking for kind of a consistent effort throughout April in conference play and in the postseason where we're playing well at every position in doubles. Um, and I think that's probably the biggest area of focus for me um, at this point. Yeah. Can you just preview the, the last uh, month and a half, two months of the season. You know, what are some important dates or, or events on the schedule? Yeah, so we've we've run through the non-conference gauntlet, but for one match, uh, we play Gustavus um, this weekend, which is our last big non-conference match. And then it's it's basically all Sky Act competition, which is hugely important for us. Um, we set it up this way so that we're at our best for conference play. Um, so really, with an eye towards you know doing really well. Uh, in conference play to set ourselves up for hopefully a top seed in, in that tournament. Um, you know, Ojai is a nice sort of bonus event for us, I'd say at this point. More of an individual focus, less of a team focus, but nevertheless important. Um, and then we're, we're thinking about NCAA regionals and what may lie beyond that. So CMS Stags uh, tennis parents and alums just want to thank you for all your support. Um, it's been such a special year so far. It'll continue to be, I think, a historical year for us, and uh, we can't do it without you. Um, this last weekend, our win against uh, Chicago and Middlebury um, was so special having uh, a few generations of uh, Stags alums here, so many parents and families cheering us on, even the future of our program with some recruits out here. So to see that picture and to have you all involved is, uh, is so important to us. So thank you so much.